Hello friends, my name is Andrea Date and I serve on the Woodbury City Council. We do a lot of things around the city like work on road projects and create new parks, but one of the most fun things we get to do is read to all of you. Um, today I'm going to read one of my favorite books called The Very Brave Bear by Nick Bland. In the jingle jangle jungle on the edge of slimy bog, Bear was picking berries from a very wobbly log. Ahoy, said Boris Buffalo from underneath the mud, and Bear fell off his wobbly log and landed with a thud. I didn't mean to scare you, said Boris with a grin. I only came to ask you if you wanted to come in. I wasn't even scared, said Bear. I'm just as brave as you. The bravest thing that you can do, I can do it too. So he balanced like a butterfly upon the wobbly log. He did a double somersault and splashed in slimy bog. If you're so brave, continued Bear, then come and follow me. We'll see how brave a buffalo is when climbing up a tree. So Bear climbed up a mighty tree, the tallest he could find. And there was Boris Buffalo climbing right behind. And they swung between the trees. They tried to catch a porcupine and wear a beard of bees. Bear and Boris Buffalo were the bravest of the brave, until that is they came across a very scary cave. It's awfully dark inside, said Boris. It's quiet too, said Bear. And with his softest voice, he said, is anybody there? Maybe we should wait, said Boris, until we know for sure. And then from in the cave, there came a very scary roar. Bear and Boris Buffalo had never been so scared. They decided not to go inside and ran away instead. They hurried through the jungle and they hid in slimy bog. And then from in the cave, there came a very tiny frog. I didn't mean to scare you, said Froggy with a grin. I only came to ask you if you wanted to come in. So Bear and Boris Buffalo went back to Froggy's cave and agreed that bears and buffalo are equally as brave. The end. Hope you enjoyed the story, The Very Brave Bear.